Hey, hello all. So today we will be discussing about F5, one of the very favorite topic. Okay. I don't know if you people have heard about or it, about it or no. So I series is no more there, right? So I would be going to talk about the next generation uh, appliance that is R series. Okay, so I series is not there now. F5 has introduced F5 next generation appliance and F5 R series. Maybe you can say it is a hardware platform that deliver a really very highly scalable and microservices based architecture. Okay, let's start. So as the slide is mentioning that I series and your Vipro chassis are very close to be, you know, in the end of life and their replacements are your R series and the Velos. And these are little different. Let me tell you, it's not same like we were doing in the I series kind of stuff right earlier. So I would say it is definitely a worth spending a little time checking out like what about this new platform and how we can you know uh, in our environment can introduce the new hardware so today i am just making a, a brief overview about the r series probably in coming days i would be gonna touch the velos as well okay let's start from here okay you can see here i am uh, talking about one of the r series uh, architecture okay and if you see, this is one RU uh, appliance, right? It is one RU, single RU, right? And uh, this is, by the way, that R10,000, you can see there, it is really very small uh, in the writing, but yeah, I am dictating it for you, that it is R10,000 appliance, which has, you can see, lot of ports are there right so there is ethernet port for your out of base uh, sorry out of band management then there is serial port right serial console port is there so here you can see the sfps for the uplinks can go for 25 gigahertz sorry gigabits to the 10 gigabits okay so you can insert 10 gig uh, 10 gig sfp and that is i hope fine and as usual you can make the port bundling right so whatever uh, in the hardware if i will say you if i am not wrong they you can get the trans receiver for the 10 gigabit from the f5 and they they give it you with the box maybe depending upon the cutation to cutation whatever cutation you are uh, going with the f5 device okay second thing the licensing very important here for licensing you won't receive anything okay but when this device is up and you are logging into this device right there is a like a little bit process which you need to go through but once you cross that process and you are logging into the device and you are doing the licensing there you can see it is pre-configured key okay so that is one more point which you need to see uh, which is you know different from your previous generations like i series if i talk about the r series r series start from your 2000 okay where you can get the flavor of r2600 then r2800 then it start with uh, then there is a series 4000 where you will get 4600 okay 4800 then 5000 series is also 5920 df series right then within this five series you have 5600 5800 5900 similarly goes with 10000 and 12000 right right and with respect to the velos probably i would be going to talk about that later on so rest of the part if you see here the fan tray the ac model okay all of these things are i hope same we need not to more discuss about these things because it's hardly matter with our previous appliance and the new appliance just the speed maybe can be one of the thing which uh, can be you can see 
go till 100 gb right okay so as i am telling you our series is replacing your current i series platform our series platform have really very vast advantages with respect to the i series architecture okay because here there is one thing named as multi tenant you can see right so tenancy here is not optional okay it is mandatory here so you need to create the tenant probably in next diagram i would be going to talk about like what the tenant is and how we are going to form the tenant but as in uh, you know overview if i will talk about like more performance per ru unit it is introduced by putting the multi tenancy kind of stuff here okay and as you can see it is introducing kubernetes to make the control panel uh, plain okay to be get efficient so here kubernetes based platform layer is called as fios please be noted you have heard about t5 uh, tmosh right but here fios a fios c c stands for chassis a stands for appliance you can see these wordings right so here the actual box is running something fios okay but tenant can run on the tmos i would be going to explain about that okay in a in a moment i am just introducing that slide okay see here this slide i hope will be helpful for you guys so you can see it's a new hardware where you can see fpga cpus and crypto kind of stuffs which is again for your hardware hardware accelerations and you can see you are having k8s or k3s okay for your uh, fios a and fios c okay respectively so these are the new platform having the kubernetes uh, based platform as i was mentioning okay which is open source kubernetes distribution right so our series like utilize k3s right velos will utilize k8s so the kubernetes portion is abstracted from the administrator management you need not to be very much worried that okay what is this kubernetes do i need to learn the kubernetes also no you need not to okay this whole thing will be in the background you can say it's an abstraction layer what the abstraction is if i will talk about with respect to the alexa okay alexa device we use in our homes nowadays okay everybody is using alexa is a really very smart device which is you know uh, taking your uh, voice commands and execute whatever you want but if you see what is this this is a software which is really a very high uh, coding should be there and it is really a very good complex device but as an user if i am i will talk about a user for user there is an abstraction layer that only he speaks okay alexa play this song alexa just make my light little bit brighter or maybe shut down the bulb okay so just like that you are just giving the command for for you there is an abstraction layer okay so abstractions means like the complexity is hidden from you for you as an user it is really very simple so this k38 okay sorry k k3 s or k8 s uh, you need not to be you know worried about that that f5 is doing something in the background so as i am man uh, as i was mentioning now let us say this is your hardware okay bit like see it's not a new wheel what they are developing let me tell you okay it's bit like your vmware is doing and other companies are also doing okay in the same way now the hard box hard, uh, hardware box is from the fi you can say and tenant is bit like you are spinning up a new vm okay so here when you are spinning up that uh, like uh, any ltm gtm asm whatever device okay so that is bit like your new vm here in fi we are talking about the tenant okay it is named as vm tenant so any big ip unit you are utilizing over here it can be one it can be two depending upon your hardware depending upon how many vms is uh, you know or what kind of capability you have what kind of resource you have depending upon those resource management you can create more and more vms okay or i would say tenants so you can see 
on the bottom you are utilizing f5 on the top also you are using f5 i hope so far it is clear again in the actual implementation you will feel like that there are couple of the images which are supported and which are not supported bit like you know, maybe big ip 16 version is not supported here either you can go with 15.1.5 and above or maybe uh, then till 17 it will be personally i have installed 17 version okay so sub version i don't remind currently but yeah i have installed the 17 version and that works fine so so far i hope uh, there is no doubt and you guys are with me and you are understanding like this hype is nothing very simple thing you need to make first your base device up i will say which is maybe your r series velos whatever uh, since i am talking about r series in this uh, video so we need to create our r series first we need to uh, do the licensing and provisioning in the r series okay from there our tenant will pick it up okay all the vlans things we need to do in the r series from here you can allocate during the uh, time when you are making your tenants up right you can allocate what vlan should be there right so it is bit like same terminology as we were doing into our vmware or esxi or howsoever you say so there is let us say there is a tenant there are the physical ports okay there is a logical switch will come in between and this logical switch will provide all of the information okay i hope no doubts so far let me proceed you can check this diagram this diagram is you know making more uh, you can say clarity right uh, when we are talking about this whole architecture so you can see there is f5 where it is running fi os a okay and then you are having different tenants which is running over here again depending upon the capabilities as i was mentioning so for r series you can have cli gui api whatever and similarly goes for your tenants as well okay one very important thing when it comes to the high availability right ha relationship you are not forming any ha relationship between these r series devices please be noted okay you can make it on the tenant layer so within the tenant you can do and for the for sure because uh, i am expecting it that you you people are really experienced for sure the connectivity should not be a problem if the desired ports desired vlans should be segregated end to end and if it is if it is in between your different different data centers then the layer 3 connectivity should be the part uh, which should be like working very fine in between two okay okay so i hope you guys have uh, now fair knowledge about it if you wanted to know more about these r series velos okay you can please uh, put in the comment that okay you want it in a more detail probably in coming upcoming videos we will be uh, you know giving you more overview about these new hardwares and maybe i can show you using the screenshots or maybe uh, you know uh, within the live class like how you need to deploy the new tenants and if you have any doubts probably you can share it with me thank you for your time and in this 2024 i wish that you have a you know very great life healthy and wealthy life thank you again please subscribe comment and support us uh, in any way what you can do thank you great day bye